for a workout? Yeah, okay, stand by. So this is uh, the training plan. Been following all kinds of days already done. We got about another month left to go. Yesterday was an easy one hour spin, and today eight minute efforts. So we're gonna warm up for 60 minutes. Then I'm gonna do three efforts at eight minutes long each at about zone five. So it's a pretty hard effort. I'm gonna do that on a moderately steep uh, climb which I have near, very nearby, which is awesome. And then try and do a 10 minutes easy between efforts. And then it's just another 30 minutes after the workout. So yeah, anyway, that's the plan. We have about a month left of training. So it's kind of crunch time as we prepare for the 23, the 2023 version of the Tour Divide. And so Mira and I are out training again today. Like I showed you earlier, some hill intervals, some hill efforts. And we're just in that warm up right now. Kind of excited. Starting to have dreams about the Tour Divide. <laughs> some of them are like you might imagine, some of these uh, dreams that are a little anxiety ridden. Like my handlebars fell apart in one of them. Or I'm just lingering around and time is passing. Um, when I should be riding. Oh, Mira. That's really muddy. Oh, baby. Oh, yuck. Yuck. Oh, look at that. I think that's one of the cicadas. I don't know if you can hear them. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a cicada. And uh, you can hear them kind of screeching and calling in the hillside. Um, not all day, but usually uh, sometime in the mid morning or midday, like now, it's 11 o'clock. Um, and sometimes just before the sun goes down, but at night we don't hear them. And Mira is super dirty now. <laughs> oh, it's all green and ugh, gross. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, so just trying to focus in on the, the last little bit of training before the Tour Divide. Uh, I think my anxiety mostly, what little there is, that's mostly kind of excitement. I feel pretty empowered, pretty charged up, not fearful. Yeah, and then I'm just making sure that I focus in on a bunch of things to help with the riding and the comfort. So. A uh, bunch more work on flexibility and then some of the auxiliary muscle groups, making sure my neck is strong enough to, to hold my head up on the bike for so many hours at a time, you know, while on the aero bars or what have you. And uh, yeah, making sure the core strength is good so that uh, I look sharp in my cycling clothes. Uh, no, seriously, so that uh, I don't have back pain while riding the bike. A couple of spots I gotta push the bike, but honestly, very few of those. In fact, our regular bike packing calls for more of that than does this event. I kind of look at it as the mental framework that we're going into the event with. Well, for example, it's almost impossible to make up time on the event. You can only lose time, so conservation of time there is an urgency to keep moving forward. You know, weather plays into that. So if there's a storm coming and a big climb uh, up into higher elevations where it might uh, snow or be colder, uh, the roads are known to be muddy, that sort of thing. Maybe it makes sense, even though I could be uh, extremely tired to keep on moving forward to get ahead of that. Um, section. So, you know, some places it, it's not as important. The rain can come and it go and the roads don't change that much. I mean, I could grab a hotel and wait out a storm or at least um, miss sort of, you know, four or five hours of that storm cycle. Those kind of things. So mental strategies to uh, giving myself the appropriate or Mira the appropriate self-care 
So taking care of my feet and my butt and my hands, uh, hydration and calories in, calories out, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, lots of mental stuff going on during the, during the race to kind of think about. And then amongst all that, just to enjoy it because I know people are gonna love you. Yeah, they are. I know I do. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have a good time. Back onto our intervals. Yeah, sound good? All right. All right, warm up's almost over. And I got some Susie and the Banshees. Keep us going, eh, baby? Yeah, you don't need anything. Beats per minute. 75.1. Six and a half minutes. 1.5 to go. seconds. Sweetheart, in the back, up, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Well, these are hard. But I feel pretty good, able to ride within myself, uh, even in zone 5 at 170 beats per minute. But uh, for a long time people have figured 220 beats per minute was maximum, uh, minus your age. And uh, I'm 52 now. I'm basically riding at my max heart rate according to this is theories. Um, for close to eight minutes. So, regardless, it's a good effort and uh, I think they're probably pretty effective and I'm feeling okay on them. So, yeah, yeah, anyway, one more to go. Yeah, another positive indicator from training here is uh, feels like uh, I do recover pretty quickly from these efforts so that I can uh, get on top of it and do another one. Feels like if we're not doing something hard then we're not training but that's not true at all uh, really what's really you know super important is the quality of your adaptation so I've done the effort uh, one more to go and then the important thing is uh, how much I adapt to the workout so if I don't let myself rest if I don't hydrate and uh, fuel properly and get good sleep and uh, keep stress low and uh, you know, make sure you know vitamin D and other micronutrients are uh, in the right balance then I don't get the same effort or the, sort of the same results 
out of the same training and that's really important so uh, yeah we got once we're done this next interval then uh, recovery begins and that's that's also part of training so Girl, Mira, that's it. Yes, you did so good. Yes, you did. Yeah, you're looking good, Mira. We'll let you cool a little bit here and then we'll get going, okay? Get going, yeah, good effort. Uh, these kind of efforts on the hill are also good training for Mira. If I if we were just dog packing, just bike packing together, then uh, really. <clears throat> Should be going at a, at a at a gentle walking pace but uh, on this slope at this pace we're doing something like uh, 12 kilometers an hour so she's kind of trotting uh, which is more than than she would uh, normally need to do if we were riding along i'd probably be going at uh, half that speed and so she could just uh, run ahead lay down stop go find some shade that kind of stuff. so this ends up being training for her as well so i'm just letting her cool off in the in the shade here and then uh, we'll finish up we don't have very far to go to the top and then she's in the basket for almost the entire way uh, back to the little casita that we're renting you know I'll, I'll make sure that i check her paws her joints just do a little bit of manipulation and just some palpitation you know just basically a little massage petting that she would get anyway and just see how she is if there's any soreness or any kind of stiffness and these bandanas are good for a lot of things <laughs> keeping the sun off your neck wiping the salt off your mouth <laughs> all right time to get going